Hey guys, so it's Jane here from Legion Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about Battlefield 1's DLC and the premium system and how I think it will be implemented and why I think it will be implemented into Battlefield 1. But before we get into this video, just like say, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe for much more Battlefield 1 content and tell me what you'd like to see from this channel in the future down below in the comment section. So, Battlefield 1's DLC. We already have some information that came out telling us what we might expect from this and what we might see from this in the future. So we can actually look at the past to see how many DLCs we might get and what they might include. So Battlefield 4 had five different DLCs. Um, the majority of them brought a new game mode and also they brought new weapons and maps. The only one that didn't bring new weapons was the Final Stand DLC that brought the Phantom Bow but didn't necessarily bring un other weapons to the game and we saw a bunch of new maps, four new maps from each DLC, and generally a new game mode. Now, Battlefield Hardline brought, the first two DLCs I believe had new game modes, but then they believed that the servers would get too unpopulated quickly, so there were really no new game modes that came, um, but we still got four maps and a ton of weapons in Battlefield Hardline. Battlefield Hardline changed it up by giving us a ton of free weapons, which was really awesome. And that was really a step in the right direction, I think, for the Battlefield franchise. Now, we've heard that Battlefield 1 will have the French as DLC. So that may open up new doors to implement other factions as DLC. So we might have a French DLC, a Russian DLC. That could be very interesting and a cool way to implement DLCs. However, where we begin to see why this might be a problem is in the premium system. So. The problem with the premium system is that, like Battlefield Hardline said, the game modes just, when they implement new game modes, yeah sure you can play on them for the first month or so, but after that, the servers die down, and it's really hard to find modes and people playing the new, new game modes, and a lot of them are really fun game modes, it's kind of sad that you don't get to play them because premium splits the player base. Now, Battlefield 1 has talked about premium. They've talked about having paid DLC, like big DLC and microtransactions. So whether they sell the DLCs individually without a premium system, I'm not sure. And whether they don't call it premium, they might call it something else. But I believe they will have paid DLC in the game. While many people have complained about it and just get angry with Battlefield, I honestly believe that they're going to continue to bring paid DLC. However, what they could also do is implement free DLC in the mix, like Battlefield Hardline brought the Blackout DLC, which was absolutely great, and we've heard that Battlefield 1 will have a free map coming just a month after release, sort of like how Star Wars Battlefront had the Battle of Jakku after release. And it's really awesome that we're going to be getting free maps, but when they say a single free map, it makes me think that they're going to have paid DLC after that, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, I can understand where they're coming from from a business standpoint. Anyway, guys, that's really what I think about the premium system. I don't think it's a good system at all. Don't think I'm trying to endorse the premium system. I think it's a really bad system, and obviously, free maps are always better. But I just don't want to be too optimistic and say, oh, well, the DLC is going to be free just so EA will be nice people and then get, you, your, get your guys' hopes up too high just to be disappointed when ultimately we do get paid DLC. Now, something else is Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline's free DLC. You getting a ton of questions about these. I think Battlefield Hardline Criminal Activity will be free in probably three or four weeks, and the next Battlefield 4 DLC will be free in probably two weeks. And not really sure which Battlefield 4 DLC that will be, because that could be... China Rising or one other DLC, honestly can't remember. And for Battlefield Hardline, we just have Criminal Activity left. So that'll probably be the last DLC. And people are asking me if they think that after all the DLCs are free, they'll either make Premium free or make Hardline or Battlefield 4 free. I don't think they'll make Hardline and Battlefield 4 free as the base games. That's really just giving away the game itself. And plus it would look silly if the game was free and then you'd have to pay for your the extra maps that would just look weird. However, I can see them making the DLC free 
either once they've made all the other DLCs free or once Battlefield 1 launches, they'll just make all the DLCs permanently free. Because while it is cool that they make them free for a week long, it's kind of annoying because I've gotten tons of comments from people who say they've missed the DLCs. It really sucks that they aren't able to get their hands on those because they either weren't paying attention to my channel for the news or they didn't know about it. And it just really honestly sucks because they might have been gone for a week and then they won't be able to play that free DLC when maybe all of their friends probably got it. But yeah, Battlefield 1's DLC. We're probably going to see some new factions, obviously a bunch of new maps. Not sure how many more weapons they'll add in, because it seems like they're squeezing as many weapons as they can into the game, whether it's prototypes or weapons that were barely used in the war. They're trying to fit everything in to make this game extremely content rich so that people don't get bored of it. But again, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe if you are new here, tell me what you guys think about the premium system. But that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.